Hey guys, for this video tutorial, what I want to do is to introduce you to a new sensor that is LM75BIMM. To know more about this sensor, let's have a look over the website that is controleverything.com and here search for the sensor that is LM75BIMM and what we see is a temperature sensor. As you can see, these are some of its features and we will let you introduce to other parts of this as you can see. Now you can also purchase the sensor from here. Now in the interfacing part, uh, what I will be doing is to interface the sensor, temperature sensor LM75 BIM with uh, Beagle Bone Black and using uh, C code. And to get the C code, let's go to resource tab and here comes the C code sample which you can download as a zip file from this very site. From here, just like that. Also you can have the code from github.com and you can download the code from the repository that is control everything community now what do we require next is to have a look upon some hardware connections we need to set up let's have it now for the hardware connection setup first of all the thing we require most is our beagle bone black which you are able to see on my screen and this here is an i2c sheet it's available on the website control everything.com and it's very useful in making connections easier with other i2c devices so gently place this I2C shield over the beagle bone black and make a connection like that. Now we require our sensor that's the temperature sensor LM75 BIM. Now this here is a connecting cable. Now make sure that the connection among the sensor and the cable, the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and for the same reason to the I2C shield. Now to power up our beagle bone black, the two things we require or a mini USB cable just like that and gently insert it over here and a 5 volt adapter now put it over this power jack the next and the last thing we require is to provide an internet connection as you can see and there are two ways we can use either of them first of all an ethernet or a LAN cable as you can see gently insert it over this jack ethernet jack and you can also use a wireless nano USB adapter for the internet connection so we are done with all the connections for the hardware we need. Now what do we require next is to interface the sensor and the bigger bone black with the C code. Let's have it. Well in the interfacing part first of all we have to log in to github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community which you can see on the screen and after that we have to search for the sensor that is LM75 and here it comes. Now this is the C code, but let's have a look over the instructions we need to fulfill. First of all, uh, before doing uh, the instructions, we need to set up the Beagle Bone Black and the relevant information to set uh, this Beagle Bone Black is provided on the link that is beagleboard.org. So do it carefully. After that, we have to download the code in Beagle Bone Black and to compile the code, this is the command and to run the code, this is the command. Please note them down carefully. After that, get back to the code. As you can notice, we have .c extension file. And in the code, we have included some of the libraries and in the void mate function, we have to check uh, whether the bus is there or not. And we have to check the sensor, I2C device, and the address of the sensor is 0x49. Then we have in the writing section, we are selecting configuration register having address 0x01, and we are sending the command for continuous operation normal operation that is 0x00 writing command is here and then we have a sleep of one second as you can notice then after we want to retry the data back from the sensor it's the reading section where we are reading two bytes of the data from the register as you can see it's 0x00 and the command is here it's the temperature data and after that we are having a condition whether there is any error regarding the red operation so after that we are converting the data uh, which you can see into 9 bits and some of the formulas which are described clearly in the data sheet of LM75 BIM. At the very end we have to display the output on the screen and it says the temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit scales. So as you can see it's a very simple and generalized code. Now what we require next is to have a look upon the working part and let's see what we got there. Now coming to the working part, uh, we have the code and the first step is to go 
copy the entire code which you can see on my screen and now open up the terminal for the beaglebone black and here we have to create a new file as you can see on my screen it's a .c file and we have to paste the entire code here we have just copied from github.com and after that this is the command you have already seen for the compilation process and you can note it down and after that this is the whole command for the compilation and we have the code being compiled successfully after that uh, to build and to run the command this is the direction and let's see what we got here we have the temperature in celsius and fahrenheit and when i again run the command we have the temperature and it's almost constant or very little change but when i press my finger over the sensor and run the command you can see the change is there in the temperature in celsius and fahrenheit scales and it's continuously reflected on to the screen which is directly in front of you so this is how the sensor responds to the c code along with the beagle bone black now what do we require is to have a look over the benefits features and the applications of this sensor the lm75 bi double m is an industry standard digital temperature sensor with an integrated sigma delta analog to digital converter and i2c interface the wide temperature and the supply range of and the i2c interface make the lm75 bi double m ideal for a number of applications including base stations electronic test equipment office electronics personal computers and any other system where thermal management is critical to performance the sensor can be purchased from the website that is controleverything.com and you can have the code from the resource tab after that you can download the code as a zip file you can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community in the end i would just like to make it clear that for any further queries you can contact us on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on community page for videos you can go to our youtube channel and for articles and blogs you can go to our instructables.com at the very end i hope you enjoyed this video and have a good one yourself thanks a lot for watching